Hey everybody, I'm glad you're with us. Here we are, another Warner Wednesday from out at Twanger Law, my studio. Glad you're with us. And uh, I guess I picked a good night tonight. Uh, we'll wait a few minutes for some more folks to, to get on board here. But I picked a good night, I guess, the Billboard Music Awards tonight. So, dadgummit, don't they know we're doing Warner Wednesday? Man, come on, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but that's cool. I'm really pleased for my friend Gar tonight. He's receiving the uh, Billboard Icon Award. Well deserved, my friend Garth, and and uh, I'm proud of you, man. That's so cool. I think Cher is giving it to him, I believe. So that's pretty darn cool. They don't give that away often. It's a kind of a rare thing. Uh, let's see. I hope you guys hope your week has been good. Your weekend was good. Uh, Ours was okay. The Lakers won the uh, NBA championship. I really liked the Heat. I was watched that. Of course, you were going to win either way. It's both teams packed with Kentucky players, you know. So, uh, man, AD is just a monster, and LeBron. And congrats to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, and LeBron. And uh, but boy, that was a fun series to watch and uh, interesting in the bubble down there in, in Orlando. But uh, gosh, and. Can you believe that a year's gone by? Uh, I was saying something today to someone. I was saying uh, it's it it's funny that the years flown by in one way, in another way, it's crawled by. I, I don't know how that can happen. Only in 2020 can you get both of those sensations at once. I think, but sometimes it feels like it's flown by. Just the other day, it was March. We were hunkering down, uh, and then here it is, the holidays right around the corner. So. And by the way, I'll throw this out. We're going to do a, a Christmas show. We're going to do a lot of Christmas tunes and maybe have some guests and stuff, too. We don't know. We'll see. But uh, crazy, crazy year. Uh, I think we're going to we're going to put our clocks ahead, aren't we, uh, in a week or so, a couple weeks? Uh, I'd like to go ahead and put it ahead like two months, if that's okay with you guys. Let's, let's go ahead and just put, shove it ahead, <laughs> ahead two months and... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to be on the Opry uh, the 20, or excuse me, 31st Halloween night. I'm going to be on the Opry, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Clint Black is going to be on with me. We're going to uh, do some songs together, and uh, it should be a fun night. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go as Clint Black. I don't know what he's going to go as, but I might dress up like him and go. So <laughs> anyway, that'll be fun. We're going to do some of our tunes together. We could do a whole show on just the tunes we've written i think clint and i could and but uh i want to dedicate my show uh tonight to a dear friend that i we we lost i should say we lost uh last week and her name is wanda etheridge she's the sweetest lady on the planet and uh my mother-in-law's best friend kitty uh, wanda etheridge so tonight is for you wanda we love you and we'll we'll miss you forever that's for sure so and uh, anyway, I'll just jump right in. I'll I'll get my apologies out of the way. I don't know what's going on with allergies here in Tennessee, but wherever you are, we hope things are well. I hope your families are well and things are good. But here in Tennessee, it's allergies like crazy. So you may be seeing me sip on some water here and there. So <clears throat> a lot of requ we've had a lot of requests to do this song. Uh, over and over, and uh, I keep getting a lot for it, and I'm going to try it tonight. I haven't done it in quite some time, but I wrote this with my buddy John Hall. Well, I've heard it said the grass is always green. Want what we can't have, so let's see. When I looked at you, the world never looked any sweeter. So I'll go home to her and see you in my dreams. So if you want someone to fill you. With the love that is real, baby, I'm still not free. If you think you could fall for a telephone call and some flowers, 
If you're dreaming of someone, you can dream of me. I remember writing that with John Hall. You remember the group Orleans? Uh, John was the lead singer and uh, main writer with all those great Orleans songs, you know. And I remember writing that with him. And then uh, the Hoppin' Brothers came in and sang harmony with John on this record. And Tony Brown, uh, Jimmy Bowen producing. And boy, it was so much fun getting in the studio with those guys. Larry, what a great voice he had. And uh, a wonderful guy. Him and Lance, both the Hoppins. And... Anyway, that was my first number one as a songwriter. Remember, we'll forget that one. That's for Dag, I'm sure. And I'll say this. Uh, every Monday night, uh, there's a group called uh, Sequestered Songwriters that they get together and they honor different f folks every week. And uh, I think this week they're honoring Bob McDill, I believe, a great songwriter. They did the Eagles a couple weeks ago, and they, they've done uh, Jackson Brown, I think, and a lot of folks. But uh, two weeks ago, they honored me, and uh, it's mainly, I think, it's a bunch of, uh, a lot of Texas writers, I think, mostly. And I know, uh, gosh, Courtney Patton kind of heads that up. She's wonderful. Actually, she did Dream of Me on there two weeks ago. She did it on the Sequester Songwriters and did a great job. And, and uh, uh, Jamie Lynn Wilson, is uh, she did uh, one of, a couple of my songs, and uh, Wade Bowen and uh, Susie Boggess, uh, my dear, dear, sweetheart friend, Susie Boggess. And Trey. And Trey Hensley did it. Yeah, Trey, Trey, my buddy Trey uh, did it. I'm leaving folks out. Tommy Alverson. I mean, there's a lot of people that I'm leaving out, but lots of people did it. So I say it all to uh, tip my hat and say thank you guys for picking me and doing my songs. It really was fun to watch. Some really talented writers and singers on that uh, check it out if you get a minute uh, sequestered songwriters <clears throat> a song that i've been doing in texas uh for many many years i wrote this with uh, rick carnes and i finally got if actually somebody did this on the sequestered songwriter show and uh, i finally got around to recording it when i did my album called uh, it ain't all bad and uh, rick carnes and i wrote this song and see if i can get through it without the band but uh, <laughs> 
It's called Blue Bonnet Memories. Oh, I miss Texas. I miss you guys. Texas two-step Twin fiddles play San Antonio is where She stole my heart away A kiss to remember Beneath that western sky Blue bonnet memories tonight As I fall asleep at night And wake up each day In a Texas state of mind The sweetest flower Beneath that western sky Blue bonnet memory Nashville skyline, Lord, it sure don't look like home. Chasing these dreams, I live the one true love I've known. The brown eyes that sparkle more than music city's lights. Blue-bodied memory. As I fall asleep at night And wake up each day In a Texas state of mind The sweetest flower Underneath that Texas sky Blue-bodied memory I can't wait to see all you guys and get back out there doing some shows and coming your way. So um, hopefully uh, we'll get things uh, back normal here soon and get the uh, election behind us. And uh, by the way, go vote. Everybody needs to get out and vote. Please exercise your rights and go vote. And uh, end of the year, maybe hopefully get a vaccine. And here we go. We'll be rocking. So uh, I want to throw out a couple shout outs tonight. My friend, Gene Miller. That's Emily's mom, Gene Miller. Hi, Gene. <laughs> and also, uh, tonight's show is brought to you by my good buddy, Jack Cannon, up in Noblesville, Indiana. So, hi, Jack. I love you and uh, I miss you and uh, I can't wait to see you. So, and let's see, I'm going to uh, throw this guitar here. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to read a couple of things. Uh, time for some funnies, uh, a couple of funnies that uh, I saw on the internet. Uh, last few weeks since last Warner Wednesday. So uh, I'm going to do them in sections. So we do the top nine. So number nine, based on 2020 thus far, I'm expecting the flying monkeys of Oz to show up at any moment. Uh, so that's number eight. My goal in 2020 is to accomplish the goals I set in 2019, which I should have done in 2018 because I made a promise in 2017, which I planned on in 2016. So, I don't know, maybe follow that one closer next time. But uh, number seven, the hardest part of homeschooling is trying to figure out what happened to Carol Baskin's husband at the same time. <laughs> you remember that uh, 
what was that tiger show wasn't it karen tiger king tiger king yeah yeah we we lost a, a speaking of our friend wanda along with her this past week we lost a couple of giants in the, in the music industry uh, mac davis a friend of mine i've just talked to him four days uh you know before he passed away we had a, about a 45 minute conversation mac davis one of the most talented writers in music helen reddy too what like about an hour apart that's crazy all those similarities wasn't it it was nuts helen reddy and and uh, i guess um you know I, a lot of people have written about this guy. They've written so much, and I've seen so many great pictures. I never had the pleasure of meeting him. My son Ryan met him when he was 12, and Karen met him. But uh, the great Eddie Van Halen, and uh, they will never uh, fill that void. There's That is an end of an era. That's No one will ever take his place. And I remember distinctly where I was the first moment I heard an Eddie Van Halen guitar lick and I remember Paul Yandel my friend my dear buddy Paul played me uh, some Eddie Van Halen and he said you're not gonna believe this kid you gotta check this out and uh, you know he played me a couple things and I, he said this you, you gotta check this band out and this guy is unbelievable so our hearts go out to the families of the folks I mentioned Eddie's family and Mac Davis and uh, to the families and condolences of Eddie Van Halen just a giant he knocked down doors that nobody, no one even thought of would could be there. I mean, he created so much uh, guitar wizardry, I think. So. Big part of our family. Yeah, no question on that. He was, he's, uh, even though I didn't know him. But Ryan, I was so proud that for Karen, you guys got to meet him, and Ryan got to sit in and hear him. Didn't play with him. I didn't mean that to CD imply that. But car. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, it's uh, that's a giant loss. So anyway... Uh, and I'll do, I'll do, let's see, I should have kept that guitar in my hands, right? Oh, I'm just, tonight's loosey-goosey. We're just having fun and hope you guys are enjoying it too. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to hang out and watch the Billboard Awards. You're probably going to catch this. Uh, it's, maybe it's tomorrow by the time you're getting this or whatever. Because I know, you know, you can go and get it later. So watch you're probably. WarnerWednesday.com. Warner, Warnerwednesday.com. All episodes are there yeah all the episodes right yeah they're all there all of them over and over yeah there's some warts and all all the mistakes all the forgotten words all the bad notes go get them all man and check them out and and the playlists are on spotify yeah i was going to say that's a good point to go to spotify we've been doing some playlists and and uh, this song is always always fun to play Well, I left my friends back home And I hid it for the sound now They all thought I was crazy Didn't know what I was talking about But when you got the music in your soul You know it's gonna have to come out Well, I grew up real fast On the back rows of this land there ain't much I haven't seen With that old red guitar in my hand And I'll be playing this thing Just as long as I can I let my guitar do the talking I let my guitar do the talking to say, I just shut up and play, I let my guitar do the talk. Talking. 
I left my gift out to the talking. When I don't know what to say, I just stand up and play. I let my guitar do the talking. We'll play another one. I went to Cleveland there for a second. It, I meant to play. <laughs> anyway, I missed a couple notes there. Woo, it's warm up here tonight. We're hot tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad you're with us here at Warner Wednesday. I think this is number 15, if I'm not mistaken. I think we've done, we did 10 in a row, and then now we've done five, so... And I have to announce uh, that, that we have a lot of stuff coming up. We've got it. Things are opening up, I think. Uh, I don't know how it is for you guys, wherever you are around the world or wherever. I love it that we get folks uh, from all over the country, but also the world. We get, we've been, I love hearing from you guys. Uh, a lot of friends in Italy and a lot of uh, Japan and, uh, gosh, it's great that Canada, Germany, Germany, Australia. We're so happy that you all are joining us. I love seeing where all you're from and. Poland. I remember touring in Poland and just loved that. And got, I noticed we have some Polish friends and watching in. But I want to tell you that we got a lot going on. I got a couple of TV things coming up uh, next month. Uh, I I'm gonna I got some serious radio things I'm gonna do and some things I'll be announcing uh, in more detail. But we're gonna do the next Warner will be actually in December. And we're going to blow it out and have a big uh, end of the year uh, holiday Christmas party. Christmas party special, what if you will. We don't know what we're doing yet, but we're going to we're going to do something. We're going to have a big blowout and do some Christmas songs. I've really only done two Christmas albums. I did a Christmas album called called the Steve Noel Warner Christmas Memories, and it's with the the kids on the cover with me when they were little and in a sleigh. I did that album. Uh, Brown Bannister produced that. It was uh, one of my. It's one of the, my favorite albums, one that I listen to every year. I will put that. I don't listen to my music really, but I do. Will put that on and and listen to that one and uh, every year. But uh, and then uh, I did a guitar uh, uh, Christmas guitar uh, CD or album, I guess. So it's not on vinyl. I wish it was on vinyl, but we can make that but happen. It, we can make it happen. But a, a Christmas guitar, I think it's called, isn't it? And it's, on our uh, website. it's on our website. It's just all Christmas music, no accompaniment. No, it's like if I was sitting in your living room playing, and I could do that. You know, I could come and do that. Uh, I could be, I'd be wearing a mask, but I could do it. But uh, so anyway, that's called con uh, Christmas guitar. And uh, anyway, we'll do some stuff uh, at Christmas. Oh, I'll be announcing the date on it, but it will be in December. It'll be on our website and all our socials. Yep, it'll be it'll be everywhere. So hydrated, hydrated. I knew, I remember coming to Nashville. I remember in, in uh, I think it was in 1974. I remember I was at Dottie West's house. And uh, gosh, the song I'm about to do, I'm not done in 20 years. So forgive me if I go nuts on this thing. But but I remember standing at in Dottie West's house and her husband Byron. 
who was our band leader and drummer, my dear friend who was out in Arizona. Hi, Byron. I miss you, man, and hope you're watching. But he's a, a he wanted me to hear a, a record. In those days, they made acetates. They would make a test pressing of a new record that would come out. And he just by chance had an acetate test pressing of the new record coming out by Charlie Rich. And uh, <clears throat> the reason he had it is because his good friend, who later became my dear friend, too, uh, through Byron, Kenny O'Dell, wrote this song. And his sweet wife, Corky, and they're both gone now. But Corky, uh, in the Musicians Hall of Fame, she was an incredible bass player, played with my pal Dwayne Eddy. And so uh, that's a, Al and all those kids, they got a double dose there. Uh, um, Corky was so talented, and of course Al's dad too, Al Casey, the Wrecking Crew. But I digress. Uh, Kenny O'Dell wrote this incredible song, and I remember Byron putting it on and saying, no, you're not going to believe this uh, new song Charlie Rich has got coming out. Kenny wrote it. And I'm like, I never heard it before. It was that way before it was out. And it was this song, and I heard Pig Robbins the, on the piano. He He played... Baby makes me proud Lord, don't she make me proud She's never far away I'm too tired to say I want you Cause people like to talk Lord, don't they love They turn out the lights I know she'll be leaving with me Cause when we get behind closed door And she lets her hair hang down And she makes me glad that I Makes me smile, Lord, don't you make me smile? Now I'll sing the right words. She's never far away, or too tired to say, I want you. Cause people like to talk. lyrics in the proper order next time but anyway Kenny O'Dell man what a dear sweet friend and great songwriter tonight's uh, charity Karen is the to, this is a uh, breast cancer awareness month right yes, all of October so tonight uh, we want to offer our suggestion if you uh, feel so to give uh, some money uh, to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Link and I, is on our, on the link is up, I believe. And, you know, the smallest amount, whatever you can do, and no big deal if you can. It just just be aware of it and pass the word on. And uh, it's a very, very important Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And uh, that'll be really nice. I don't, I don't know many people that aren't affected in some way. I'm telling you, man, it's... It's ridiculous, and uh, we got to take care of folks. 
Uh, so I'm going to grab my J45. I, sorry, so many guitars. I got them tuned different ways, and I got them capoed and so forth. So it kind of gets me a, a jump start on what's coming up next. So. Just walk away. I used to be good at goodbye. Out on the water, under the stars, I let the moonlight play a trick on my heart. Be more requests for that one than anything <laughs> so I had to had to get that one had to get that one in there right got some other good friends on tonight Phil Ledbetter's on oh Phil Ledbetter one of the greatest dobro players in the world man say congratulations to JD Shelburne and his wife yeah JD boys. is JD on too awesome uh -huh. JD congratulations on the baby man that's so great I don't know if you've announced that but I heard about it so uh, happy for you, J.D. Shelburne, a great, great singer and a writer. And KSAT Radio. Okay, KSAT. Paul Venema, my friend Paul, KSAT out in San Antonio. Sal Salazar. Hey, Sal. <laughs> we can't make it without Sal, good Lord. But anyway, uh, glad you're on, Paul, and uh, your family. Hope everybody's well. We got a little thing coming up. I won't give it away too much, but a cool little thing coming up on KSAT out in San Antonio. I can't wait. So Paul Venema, one of the good guys. And, uh, yeah, I want to say hi to my buddy Tim, too, my buddy Tim Nazar. I meant to do it last week, and I didn't. He's my Corvette pal, and 
we had our Corvettes out together the other day playing with them. We, they're identical. His is 65, mine's a 66. So it's guy, guy gearhead talk right now for a minute. But he's got, they're both Nassau blue. So I got some cool pictures of them side by side, or we did, I should say. So anyway, uh, I, it's time now for, uh, and I'll say hi to Kenny and Carol up in Indiana. I know Carol is uh, working real hard to uh, get back to some kind of normalcy. So Carol, we're thinking about you. It's time for some more funnies here too. Number six, nowadays the greatest compliment you can give someone is, I want you to be the first person I hug after quarantine. So I like that. That's a good one. <clears throat> Number five, hey, your grandparents were called to war. You're being called to sit on the couch. You can do this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So far, this is good. Number four. So f these are, by the way, if you just joined in, these are some funny things that I caught on the Internet last uh, few weeks since our last Warner Wednesday. So far, 2020 is like looking both ways before crossing the street and then getting hit by an airplane. <laughs> is that rest true, isn't it? Good Lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I want to tell you guys about my Gretsch. I know I've, I've talked about it so much you probably go, oh, no, he's not going to do it again. But this is the Steve Warner model Gretsch that came out last year in 2019. It came out. And uh, it's a model that I designed with my good friend Jeff Sin and my son Ryan helped design this. And it's, I won't go into details, but it's, it's, it's a player's guitar. It's fully loaded, got, a, got all kinds of really neat features. And uh, it's, uh, it's called the Steve Warner Nashville Gentleman is the name of this. So I know uh, Christmas is around the corner. So there you go. Those guitar guys and girls in your... Uh, camp you might want to think about that so what are we gonna play here making it up on the fly you feel that better playing dobro on that with me i don't know what that was but i, I kind of liked it so. it kind of reminded me of a i ever got into it there it's kind of reminded me of a dwight yoakam song i think but anyway <clears throat> uh and i was by the way i'll say uh I, I, maybe i failed to mention but thanks to the great folks at gretch for for uh, all that they've done for me and that we're our association I'm so proud of. So thanks, Gretsch and Fender, Fender Instruments. Uh, I'll do this song. Uh, this is a, uh, was a big hit for us. I've recorded this song three different times. Mm -hmm. 
My little third grade hand wrote I love you on a note of yellow paper. I sent it to the front of the road to a little blonde haired girl. The blonde haired girl just dove the net and read it to herself. And I was so embarrassed when she turned around and said, I'm already taken. You spoke up too late. I love somebody else, so you'll just have to wait. The years flew by so quickly, and there we were in junior high. I realized that I still. I called her up and told her exactly how I felt. Then she said, there's something that you really ought to know. I'm already taken. You spoke up too late. I love somebody else, so you'll just have And never change my love for that little blonde haired girl who's now the mother of our little blonde haired boy who's to our hearts so close. I hate to think how fast he's growing up. Last night I overheard them as she tucked him in. Said, Mommy, will you marry me? And this is what she said. I'm already taken. You spoke up too late. I love your daddy's son, so you'll just have to wait. I'm already taken. You spoke up too late. I love your daddy's son, so you'll just have to wait. That one kind of still gets me to this day I, when I when I do it every now and then. I haven't done that one for a while. So, so uh, anyway, I wrote that with my friend Terry Ryan. He helped me finish it. When I was on the road with Donnie West playing in a bus somewhere, going down the road, I imagine. So. <clears throat> That's my little, my little writing guitar. I don't play much on this thing but it's just a kind of a lower line martin i don't i forget the model on it but it's a fun little i keep it in the house just to write with and stuff so I, there's a song that i kind of i forgot about this song and ryan my son what we've been talking about this song and listening to it Lowell george did it in 79 i think I think it was his last album. He I might be wrong on the date. Forgive me if I am. But uh, anyway, I did a little research and I realized that it was written by a lady named Ann Peebles and uh, her husband, Don Bryant. There's a guy, Miller, that co-wrote it with him, too. And anyway, it was a hit for her, a minor hit. It was a hit for Ann Peebles. And then uh, Tina Turner did it, too. So, I, I mean, I can't, I can't really do it justice without a band, but I'm going to... I, I'm gonna try to get through it. I'll, I'll see if I can do it. <clears throat> but Lowell George, man, he uh, killed this song. So I'll see if I can do it. I don't even know if I can. I can't stand the rain against my window, bringing back sweet memories. I can't stand the rain 
against my window Do you remember how good it used to be When we were together so green gathered since we parted only one sound Lord that I can't stand I can't stand the rain against my window bringing back sweet memory I can't stand the rain my window, Lord, cause you're not here, you're not here with me, all along with your pillow, Ooh, where you used, had used to lay, I know you've got some sweet memories, but like that Can't stand the rain against my window. Ooh, bringing back those sweet memories. I can't stand the rain oh against my window. Oh, cause you you're not here with me. I can't stand the rain. Against my window, Ooh, your memory just keeps on haunting me. Oh my gosh, I've never done that one. That's fun, 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 fun. Nobody does that stuff like Lowell George, so uh, tip of the hat to Ryan for throwing me some of those cool songs. Anyway, where were we? I wish I had a way to see your guys' comments. We, uh, The way we're configured, I don't get to see those, so. But I like reading them later, so. I reached out my arms and I touched you. Soft words I whispered your name I held your love on the tips of my fingers but that was as close as I came Command. I held you right on the 
tips of my fingers But I let you slip right through my hand Yes, I let you slip right through my hand Somebody took you when I was I should have known from the start It's a long, long way From the tips of my fingers To the love hidden deep in your heart To the love hidden It's a long, long way from the tips of my fingers to the love hidden deep in your heart. To the love hidden deep in your heart. I held your love. That one written by the great Bill Anderson. Uh, that song's been recorded by so many people. It is time for the last three of my funnies I'm going to read you. Here we go. Number three, I'm not saying I'm going to suck at homeschooling my kids, but my daughter just asked, Dad, what's a synonym? And I replied, I think it's a spice. <laughs> If you see me talking to myself, number two, if you see me talking to myself this week, hey, mind your business, I'm having a parent-teacher conference. And ladies and gentlemen, I wish we had a drum roll here. Number one that I've read off the internet last couple weeks, my house obviously has turned into Las Vegas. We are losing money by the minute. Cocktails are acceptable at any hour, and we never know what time it is. <laughs> That's my favorite. Or day. Or, day, or month. <laughs> That's a great one, man. That's my favorite. Congratulations to my buddy Garth Brooks. He's uh, receiving the Icon Award, Billboard Icon Award tonight as we speak. And uh, anyway, I'm going to do a tune that I wrote with Rick Carnes. And we, I called up Garth. You know, he's a... He's the coolest guy on the planet. You, I remember calling him up and saying, Garth, um, hello, Garth. I've got this song I want you to sing on. Would you mind coming and singing the verse and part of a chorus? And he goes, yeah, pal, sure, I'll do it when you want to do it. And that's unbelievable. And uh, he's always been that kind of friend and that kind of a, a guy, you know, with me. And so I always will tip my hat and take up for him no matter what. So, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, he came out recorded this uh, I was just building this studio remember that Karen we were just building it. it was all it was just framed it wasn't even finished and I remember he came up we climbed a ladder to get it through the window and come in and look we looked at this building and he was making comments and talking about it and loving it you know and gosh that was a long time ago but we Rick Carnes and I wrote this and Garth sang on it sorry what are you going to say yeah I thought you were going to say something Garth cut yeah, Garth. Yeah, Garth. Burning the Roadhouse, and he came. Oh, yeah. He sang on it with me. Yeah, he sang a verse. And so anyway, I don't have a, the great Buddy Emmons played steel on this too. I wish. Uh, I wish. Uh, gosh, I wish he was still with us today. But Buddy is so great, and uh, he played the coolest stuff on this. <laughs> the 
crowd is getting restless It's smoky, loud and hot The band is eating up And giving everything they got Somebody check the exits In case the fire breaks out We're packed in tight It's Saturday night We're burning the roadhouse down We're burning it down We're burning the roadhouse down The band is in full swing Man, there ain't no stopping now There be nothing left but ashes When Sunday rolls around But it's all right, it's Saturday night And we're burning the roadhouse down It's a mob out on the dance floor And the pressure's getting higher One spark from that fiddle bow Can set this place on fire Hey, it's so cool to be here In the hottest place in town It feels so right It's Saturday night And we're burning the roadhouse down We're burning it down We're burning the roadhouse down The band is in full sweep Man, there ain't no stopping now There'll be nothing left but ashes when Sunday rolls around. But it's all right, it's Saturday night, and we're burning the roadhouse down. guys so much for being with us tonight i'm glad you came along and popped in on us or if it's the next couple of days i'm glad you're joining us now so uh thank you for being with us another edition of warner wednesday go out and vote if you get the chance to get out there and vote i say thanks tonight to our pr guy scott adkins i say thanks to our double s our super duper uh, social team stephanie and steven bradley thank you guys so much and, uh, gosh, all my guys on the road, uh, not on the road, I should say. Uh, say hi to all my, my buddies out there, Shane and Duncan, Randy Gardner, Nuke. My brother, Terry, I miss you, Terry. I can't wait to see you. Uh, Alan Love, uh, who am I leaving out? I think that's it. I believe I got all the guys. I, I don't want to leave them out. Tim. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Tim Grogan. I can't leave Gro Grogs out. Good Lord, Tim, you'll never speak to me now, Tim. But anyway, thank you guys. We can't wait to see you in person without a mask on. And always be kind to each other. And um, let's get through this thing. We'll do it. I promise you we'll get through it together.
country station on the kitchen radio. That's how I know there's still a little magic in this crazy world. There ain't nothing like the world in a small town. Be kind. <laughs>